Hey YouTube, it is Pam, aka Electric Banderella, coming at you with my first update on how I did this week. Um, last week I came on and told you I was 213.0, and drumroll please, I lost 2.8 pounds this week, which puts me at 210.0. Point two. Woohoo! I am doing a happy dance um, in my head. I just can't say it. Sorry. So, what did I do right this week? I think consistency is the key. I drank more water. I had about 120, 125 ounces a day. Um, which we all know water flushes the toxins out of our body, and I think that helped. And consistency with my workout, and I took the two recommended days off. Um, as some of you may know that are friends of mine on Facebook, I have another unique quirk about my life, <laughs> other than the fact that I'm a cancer survivor. I have narcolepsy. Anyone start to freak out that I'm going to fall asleep during this video because it's not going to happen. What narcolepsy is, is that I have excessive daytime sleepiness. Take medication for it, but it creates some little chaotic things in my life. Um, and as a narcoleptic, um, my body doesn't require the same kind of sleep that normal people get. Um, I can function on two to four hours. Um, but, as many people know, um, when you don't have enough sleep, your body creates that little hormone called ghrelin that makes you crave carbs and sugar. But if you do get enough sleep between 7 and 9 hours, your body creates leptin, which makes you feel more satisfied. Um, so, after talking to the trainer, discussing the concerns of my sleep doctor, she was the one who recommended the two days off. And it appeared to work this time. Um, but what else I've been doing is pushing myself to get seven to eight hours sleep a night, which is not easy. Um, but I've been doing it, so it's been going okay. So um, I think those things helped quite a bit. Um, but there's always that. But, <laughs> Thursday was a really bad day for me. Really, really not a good day. Started off great. Started out really, really good. I had a uh, half of an omelet and cottage cheese for breakfast. And got really, really busy at work and really, really stressed at work. Um, my boss came and asked me to run an errand about one. I ran out and did that. Um, instead of coming right back, Back and having lunch, I chose to stop at Old Navy and put it up in an office for doing well during the week. Logic. Hmm. Not a good plan. So, we spent the afternoon grazing. Somehow, peanut M&M's jumped in my mouth. And after the peanut M&M's had a little birdie in my mouth, uh, some Mike and Ike's jumped in there, too, and had a little party. Um, after that, I had some wasabi almonds. After that, I had a Nature Valley sweet and salty granola ball. Yeah, afternoon of grazing. I do believe after that, I had a turkey stick and a string cheese. Sort of get some protein in there. Not a whole heck of a lot. Um, when I came home, I wasn't hungry. No hunger whatsoever. Did try to eat something and PB'd it. So the moment I started to PB, that's it. Stop. Mm, end of story. Had a huge cup of tea and just chillaxed. That's all I did for that day. Um, remainder of the week was great, though been really consistent with the food and the exercise. 
if you're a friend on Facebook, you see and help me stay accountable. Um, I check in when I go to the park to run. I check in when I go to the gym to take class. Um, and even ask everyone's opinion on Wednesday about what class I should take. Body combat or water aerobics. Um, both are new classes to me, so... Um, Body combat went out. Woohoo! It was a totally awesome class. Totally awesome instructor. Loved it. We'll be going back. Um, what body combat is, is it's a mixture of kickboxing, karate, and tai chi. Um, kick ass workout. Oh, sweat my ass off and burn the calories. Let me tell you, it was awesome. So, and I also tried this week Body Pump, which was new to me. Um, I've consistently taken a Muscle Works class, which just works out with these bad boys. These are my eight pounders. Um, I'm sitting in my room in my house that is actually my workout room, so all these are nice and convenient. Um, instead, body, what Body Pump does is you work out with the bar, the weighted bar. Um, so you got to put the weight at the ends of the bars and do a lot of squats and you put the bar at the back of your neck, well, on your back, not on your neck, because you'll hurt yourself. Um, so yeah, we did with that. Pretty good class. Um, thought I'd be sore afterwards because new class, new muscles, blah, 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 but I was fine. Um, so yeah, so that was all that. Um, so you got the good, bad, the ugly M&M's. So what am I going to do this week to consistently make sure that I have the same kind of week as I did last week? I'm going to have a plan. I say this. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Um, it is Sunday, and I've already taken the time to make my lunches for the remainder of the week. Um, sat down, planned out my menu, and while I was doing laundry, I took it to the kitchen and made those things. So I had that plan. I took my gyms, I belonged to two gyms. So I took both the schedules for those gyms and planned out my exercise for the week and some alternatives in case um, I'm not feeling it that day and I choose that day to be one of my off days. That's what I'll go with. Um, <laughs> what else? Oh, it was very, very hot here in St. Louis yesterday, so I did not venture out of the house. Usually do muscle works on Saturday morning at the gym that is literally right at the end of the block here from home. But instead, since it was a strength training day, here is what I did. You see this? This is Jillian Shred It With Weight. Love this video. And Bob Harper Kettlebell Cardio Shred. Oh, Bob Harper. The Inside Out Method is no freaking joke, people. Lunges. Putting the kettlebell between your legs as you're lunging. I thought I'd die. I didn't. I'm still here. Did these videos back to back? Yes. When I can't make it to a gym, what do I do? I work out at home. I also have a treadmill down in the corner. Um, what other tapes do I work out with home? Mm, looking for a good ab workout? I got two for you. Jillian's six week six pack and Jackie Warner's Crunchless Extreme. Don't have to lay down for that one. Ab work. Totally standing up. And Jackie Warner, in my opinion, is inspirational. <sighs> to have that woman's abs. Holy guacamole. Another Jillian video that I love. <sighs> this is my new absolute favorite. Ripped in 30. Awesome, awesome, awesome cardio workout. I love this. Probably going to do this one again tonight. Why? Because I can. So, lastly, 
How many of you watched Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition? OM freaking G. If we're friends on Facebook, you know about my rant. Here's my opinion of the show. I didn't like it. But I don't know if I didn't like it or I didn't like the girl that was on there on Monday. I'm not sure, so I'll probably watch it again this Monday because I want to know if it's the show that I don't like or if it was that girl. Here's my thoughts. When she first said to the trainer, I'm so glad you're here, so I did not have to have that lap band surgery, I'm pretty sure that my neighbors on either side of me heard me scream. That didn't sit well with me. And then a little while later, she said, I'm so glad I didn't take the easy way out. Biatch, the easy way? There's been nothing easy about my journey, and I'm sure each one of you watching this, there's been nothing easy about your journey. Every day, we fight. We fight the fight to get the pounds off. I don't care what surgery you have. We're all in the same boat, and we're all fighting the same fight called obesity. <sighs> what I said on Facebook was, listen, biatch, we both got a tool. The difference is the tool is around my stomach and your tool with television and a trainer. That is the only difference. If I had a trainer come and train with me every day and watch what went into my mouth and... TV cameras following me everywhere? Yeah. I probably wouldn't eat peanut M&M's as often as I do, so if anyone wants to video and walk around with me every day, maybe that would keep me from doing it. I don't know. Maybe. I digress. So, yeah. What else did I like about the show? They didn't see, they didn't show her making any meals. Really? I know she lived at home with her parents, but she was a freaking gym teacher. I'm sorry. If I was the parent of one of the kids in her class, I would be saying to myself, really, you're teaching my child about health care and nutrition and how to move their body? Really? Yeah, never made a meal. Very rarely saw her work out, just in snippets. But again, it's TV, so... Who knows? But the real kicker was a tummy tuck at 235 pounds. I can't tell me she didn't still have that layer of fat there. Come on. I don't know. Reality TV at its best. It didn't strike a good chord with me. How about you? Tell me. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you like? <laughs> what didn't you like? So, yeah, just my little rant for the day. So, this is me on a Sunday, signing off, getting ready to go eat dinner. I made an awesome shrimp scallop stir fry for dinner that I'm going to enjoy a cup of and then probably eat it for lunches the rest of the week. So, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched my video and everyone who subscribed. And just a little couple of shout outs, um, Becca, you know what I think of you, kiddo. And uh, you're going to get that sub 30 5K. I know you will. It's just a matter of days. Um, new toy for Katie 5K in Maui. <sighs> so jealous. And everybody give it up to Hua for running her first marathon today. <sighs> Woman, you rock. You have come so far in this journey, and kudos to you. You are just doing it. So that's, that's me. It's Sunday. I'm signing off. Hope everyone has a great weekend, and I certainly hope that everyone has a great week, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.